everybody, it's Jason. And this is my wonderful adventures in beer. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back for joining me again. If you're here for the first time, welcome aboard. But either way, do me a solid and press that like and press that subscribe. So today I'm going to be drinking a big old beer. Yep, it's a big beer. Uh, and I'm going to be drinking local again. Uh, being a Georgia boy and being their probably top fan, I was their first customer. I'm going to be drinking a beer from Social Fox Brewing Company out of Norcross, Georgia. That's right, like I said, Georgia boy, drinking local. Uh, Social Fox has a nice place in my heart. They always take care of me when I go there. They don't give me anything. They just treat me right, and they just, they're really good people. Highly recommend it. Uh, they are on the square of Norcross, Georgia, and there's open container, uh, which is really cool. So you can go in and say, I want to walk around, and I'll pour your beer in a plastic cup, and you can walk over to the park or walk the square. It's kind of nice. Uh, but today we're going to be drinking the uh, Old Renard. I've been sitting on this one for a few months. It is an American barley wine. And I have a spot for barley wines. I love barley wines. Uh, they're big, they age nice. And I was gonna age this one, but I really wanna drink it. Uh, this clock's in at 10% ABV with no IBUs. So here's our, uh, our label. They always have some nice artwork, I like it. And again, this is a big beer, it is 10%. So uh, let's quit running my mouth, let's crack this open and let's Give it a pour. I like open it. Uh, I'm using a uh, snifter style, almost a tulip. I like these glasses for uh, aromatic beers. I poured that kind of hard. I have a tendency to do that, but that's okay. I, if you watch my videos, you know I like a good head on my beer. <clears throat> the head brings out more aromas, which amplify the flavors. Uh, Color-wise, that is a. It looks darker on camera than it actually is. It's a nice, good dark brownish red color. As you can see, it's got a good amount of bubbles coming up, uh, helping with that head. It's a good-looking beer. It's got a nice. Like I said, I poured that head hard, but it looks really nice, and that head is maintaining. So, uh, low on the aroma, I'm getting uh, some nice bread notes to it, or malty in the beer world. I'm uh, picking up some dark fruit, maybe some dates and raisins, and a little bit of a, a botanic, can't say that word, a, a spice kind of flavor, but not spicy, more like florally type thing, but in between. Well, let's quit wasting time and let's put it down, y'all. Oh, that's very good. Very smooth. Uh, for 10%, it's not boozy at all. Sweet. I'm picking up that bready maltiness and the flavor I was talking about. Very tasty. Uh, on the back end, I'm picking up some raisin. And a hint of rosemary. I guess that's the uh, the plant thing I was tasting there. Yeah, it's quite good. Social Fox, you never let me down. You did a great job. Keep up the good work. Y'all check out the uh, Old Renard. Great, great beer. Uh, peace out, y'all. Have a beer.